Hey Libra, how are you? This is a general reading for the collective of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I have our channel mascot here. This is Leo. Leo, say hello to the nice Libras and the people who love them. Welcome cross watchers. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, do come in to the comments, say hi, let me know where you're from. I will reply later. So I'm gonna pull from Soul Helper Oracle to activate the reading. Let's see what message you get. I know it's so exciting. It's so exciting. Aha, card number five. And you know when I do readings and the fives come out in tarot, I tell you fives are about change. And it's change numerologically as well. And it says for you, it is time for a change. Do not wait or put off decisions any longer. It is time for a change. I love the butterfly on the shoulder, right? Growth, change, transformation. Um, don't put it off. Whatever it is, you know what it is. And uh, it's time for that change to occur. Okay, Leo. Can't have that. Nope. Can't play with that either. Are you going to be a good boy? Now. Uh, this is one very ramb rambunctious kitty, so if he starts to do what I think he's going to do, I will stop the recording and have to take him upstairs. But I'm trying to get him adjusted to the notion of sharing me with all of you during the day, during the work time, right? This is mommy's work time. Whoops. Okay, so we're chill for now. So what I'm gonna do is pull the main spread, give you my general impressions. I'll clarify what I feel I need to know more about. Here's our overall energy is a five. So there's some um, conflict, some form of tension or um, feeling conflicted even. Something coming at you from all angles is possible. That's the overall energy. Top row is your person. Aha. Middle row is your energy. Okay. And it can come through reversed, especially if you are here as a cross watcher for a Libra. And then the bottom row is the connection. And I'm. It, this almost seems like a little split personality-ish to me because your person... Um, here in the past, we have the King of Pentacles, definitely very grounded together, um, may have approached you or have offered you something that felt um, almost too good to be true because here in the past, your energy very guarded, very guarded. And in, and in the um, connection is the world card and the world card is Saturn. So it's about cycles and learning lessons and um, new beginnings coming after endings. So I feel like with the world card, it, there might have been some form of a, a cycle or a pattern that kept unfolding with this person. Their present energy is all about reconciliation and you're sitting here going, yeah, I don't, I don't know. And it says, it is time for a change, right? Do not wait or put off decisions. This is a decision-making card. So right now you may be torn or, or on the fence about the new beginning in this connection. Okay, so it, I'm looking at the past here with the world. You know, the world card is also a card of new beginnings, but it comes by way of an ending. So some cycle has to close out before the new beginning can ensue. So it feels to me like that's part of the process here. And this person is showing signs of moving in a very positive direction. And you are coming in quite skeptical. In the near future for them, wow, it's all about the love. And for you, it's all about uh, like offloading a lot of heavy energy. This is sort of the unburdening, the relief and the release that comes with that. Um, but then we have in the connection, the Eight of Cups. So we'll have to look at that with the clarifiers. I'm most curious about that card because it's almost as if you're in a decision-making process now. And you may in fact decide that the best thing for your health or for um, a full sense of relief is to just cut the whole thing loose and the two of you go your separate ways. But the um, eight of 
cups can also be about moving forward on the path and it's also about leaving behind what no longer serves you in terms of emotional drama or right it's almost like where we can part with things that we don't want to carry forward and it doesn't necessarily mean that that would be the entire relationship but perhaps aspects of it okay it could it could be that this person is coming in to resolve something that's been quite a source of tension between the two of you and so we'll see where this goes excuse me young man thank you for guarding the cards oh sorry all right, let's look at the five of wands. Isn't he a beauty? I know. Yes, okay, so I'm seeing it clearly. Lots of tension, arguments possibly, uh, waiting a long time, dealing with somebody who's been avoidant. Um, the king of wands from the bottom of the deck King, the King of Wands doesn't hesitate, knows what he wants, goes for it. I see it, I want it, I claim it, it's mine. It's a very go get them kind of an energy in its upright interpretation. Reversed, the King of Wands can come through as an unavailable lover, somebody who just sort of um, doesn't want to deal with something head on. And it, it looks like this has been a pattern that's been unfolding for a very long period of time and it's created a lot of tension. So it's not necessarily anything nefarious. The Seven of Swords isn't always, but it, it, it kind of leaves you feeling like, like what's the problem, you know? And so that's why they're, sh they're, they're, they're coming in as somebody who should, who should be and presents as settled. This was in the past, um, but there's some reason here why you're, you've been guarded through this situation, whatever has been unfolding. So let's go ahead and look at the King of Pentacles to the Six of Wands, past to the present, Queen of Cups, the Strength card, the Hierophant, themes of commitment, um, life partnership, King of Pentacles can be a life partner, masculine archetype of a life partner. And I do feel like this person has trying to be, you know, trying to, has been trying to overcome some form of an obstacle, outside source of conflict, that they may have avoided for a while, a long while, um, but now it seems like they're, you know, definitely seeing you as being someone who has sort of held space for them. And, much to your chagrin, I might add. And now they're sort of wanting to meet you in the middle. So this could be about them moving towards some form of compromise even. Yes, reconciliation for those of you with all, with all the tension and maybe arguments or disagreements, let me phrase it that way, um, but also about like where, where do we agree and let's go from there. So now let's look at the Six of Wands to the Ace of Cups. have to keep my eye on him, guys. So if I'm looking around, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, they have the two of pentacles too. So interesting. And the nine of swords, very worried. Um, trying to kind of assess the realities on the ground with regard to whether or not there's any you know, chance, opportunity for some change, for some growth. Um, maybe worried about you being on the fence. It might not be their two of pentacles. It certainly might be their conscious awareness of yours. Um, this is a love connection. They don't want to lose, but they know something has to change. They at least know that on an internal level. Sorry for the noise. That is, like I said, kitten getting into a plastic bag of some shenanigans. Okay, so let's go on and see four of pentacles for you to the two of pentacles now. Eight of swords, ace of wands, two of swords. You've been in a lot of decision-making energy lately, but feeling very stuck, um, not motivated at all. Ace of wands in reverse, essentially all this stuck energy, all this passion um, and enthusiasm sort of 
feeling like a damp rag has been thrown on it. Uh, again, it, it guarded, shut down, stuck, um, knowing that you're at a moment where a decision has to be made, feeling uncertain, torn on the fence. Um, and now we are moving from that two of pentacles, time to decide, right? Um, and the ten of wands. King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, the Moon. So this is absolutely about a long-term connection, a relationship that has some longevity to it with this person, your uncertainty around that, your fears kind of rising up within, and all you want to do is just kind of find some sense of relief. I, I don't think you're much enjoying the energy you're sitting in right now, Libra, or whoever you are watching, it just feels like um, there's there's a lot, a lot of focus on the future, on commitment, um, or at least being in some form of agreement. And I don't think you have been up till now. And as we move forward, all you want to do is just kind of unburden yourself. So I'm going to pull one extra card for you on the Ten of Wands. The fool. So that one card tells me there's an unburdening and then a leap forward, meaning I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to go all in. I'm going to take a chance. And in that you get the liberation because the tens are closure. The tens are something is done. And this is an offloading of a lot of stored up negative karma. And so there's relief with that. There's a release with it. And then the fool is all about freedom and liberation and um, taking the leap of faith. Yes, but it, you know, it's after some assessment of the risk, right? And I just kind of feel like you're, that's, that's part of your journey is that's part of your journey is to leave behind what isn't going to serve you going forward and leap a little bit into the unknown. Yes, it can be scary, um, but you've done a lot of thinking and you, it does not look like this is all about an impulse move. You've resisted the impulse and you've been pushing through a lot here. I'm going back to your oracle. It's time for a change. It's time for a change. The death card is a card of change as well. So, um, right, but in order for things to change, something has to die off. Some pattern, some behavior, some dynamic between you, whatever it is, it's a general reading, not a private reading. So it's gonna be different for everyone. Let's go ahead and um, look at the world card to the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles again, Empress, Page of Swords. So this is the connection. Um, I do feel like Divine feminine energy is running the show at this, you know, from the past to the present. Aware that there are things here that have to be learned. There are things that have to be closed out. There is this curiosity with the page of swords that's been underneath all of this energy. C can we pull this off? Can we close out something? Can something, some aspect of this connection, so whatever it is, can we close that out and have a, this new up-leveled beginning? So that's been what's rolling through this connection. Honestly, you seem a little more pessimistic about it than they do, um, but that's okay because you, if you, especially if you're here as the Libra, a little more realistic, a little more pragmatic, practical-minded, level-headed. You, you know where I'm going. Um, so I'm just going to pull a, a card or two for the Eight of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. King of Cups. Perfect. So this is about uh, coming, coming to the realization that what has to be left behind is any form of insecurity, any question about this person, and maybe, you know, whether or not they value you, they do. Um, this is someone that you're dealing with, with a very deep reservoir of feelings and emotions. Maybe they're not super chatty about it, but the love is there. We have the queen of cups, 
We have the King of Cups. We have the King of Pentacles twice. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So what you're leaving behind in this connection are those energies of like rejection or, or disavowal or uh, devaluing of some sort. And it could be that the timing was just off. It's very possible when you're looking at the Seven of Pentacles, it could be that simple that this had to unfold organically and maybe a lot of the tension um, and disagreeable energy or, or conflict has been that your person may have been avoiding certain aspects of taking your connection to the next level. I don't know. It's going to, like I said, take it as it resonates for you. But it feels like you come to that... Um, that point in the road where you're just going to have to, you know, either take the chance or completely walk away. And I see you taking the chance. I see you, you know, re getting more solid and feeling more um, comfortable in the way this person feels, the way they express their emotions, um, any talk about the future, any changes that need to be made help you to leave behind any insecurities, any questions of how this person values you. And so you come through it a lot more grounded and ready for the next steps forward. Very interesting reading. I'm going to take it to the extended. So before I give you the astrology, a couple things you need to know. We're going to look at this King of Pentacles person. Uh, I want to sort of figure out what's going on behind the eyeballs. Like what are they processing right now? Um, how do they feel about you and what are their intentions? We're going to get to that. The links for that are below. You are going to see option one or option two or option three. Those are all ways to get access to this extended reading and other extended readings. Please read what it is you're signing on for. Okay. Um, also, if you have been enjoying my readings, if this one has proved very helpful, confirmational, insightful, if it resonated for you, please subscribe below. Um, that is the only way I can grow this thing. We've made a little progress since the meltdown in June. It took me like a half, about a half a month to a month to figure out that there were algorithmic changes that were tanking a lot, not just mine, a lot of channels that kind of are in that middle range, like under 100,000 subscribers, but over 50,000. Like a bunch of us have been caught in this weird algorithmic change like we're invisible so thank you to those of you who heeded my 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 begging literal begging for you to help me be more visible um we're, we're starting to build some traction again so i appreciate that but we're just at the beginning phases so let's keep it going subscribe like share if you feel called to do so even that helps engage come in the comments you guys know i answer your your comments. Um, sometimes it takes me a little bit of time, but I do because that's how I get to work with your energy um, better is to kind of connect with you. So that's that. Here we go. I'm going to give you the King of Wands is associated with Leo. King of Pentacles is out twice. That's Taurus. Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy. The Strength card is Leo. The Hierophant is Taurus. Death card is Scorpio. Uh, the moon is Pisces. The fool is the planet Uranus. So that's kind of very unexpected breakthrough pivots that kind of come out of the blue. It rules the sign of Aquarius. The world card, as I said, is Saturn, Aquarius and Capricorn. Our empress is Venus, Taurus and Libra. Page of swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, Queen of Pentacles, Capricornian energy, and our King of Cups is Scorpio. So that's what I have for you. I'm headed to the extended now. I'll see you in, the, in a minute. Bye for now.